And a very busy head care worker. Whatever. So, um, is this just a social visit? No, uh, I had something to tell you. Um... Oh, yeah, uh, there's loads of smoke pouring out the kitchen. What? Maybe we could pick out the bumpets. <laughs> We'd have a big empty dish, what's your point? <sighs> it's not working, is it? I can't be head care worker and cook. Do you want me to take care of lunch? <sighs> you know what to do. Hello, crazy fried chicken? Yeah, me again. Can I have two super-sized mega buckets and six bottles of cola? Yeah, can you just charge it to Almtree House as usual? Cheer up, Mike, you're doing a great job. Really? Yeah. Get extra chips and garlic bread. <laughs> so, I've decided that we need a full-time cook at Elm Tree. I was doing fine. Ordering fried chicken's not exactly cooking. I ordered pizzas and curries too. Anyway, I found a new cook. He's doing a course in catering and nutrition technology. He's got great ideas for the Elm Tree menu. Well, Tracy's got great ideas. Yeah, we're having kebabs on Wednesday. We want kebabs! We want kebabs! We want kebabs! Shut up, you lot! Just give the new chef a chance. Why? All right, bro? Bounce! Ah, <laughs> Bounce, this is so great. The Bakovas are finally running this joint. Well, they had to happen one day. Millie wants to know what's for tea. Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, that's why we're asking. Well, I can't tell you. It's a surprise. But I will tell you this. It's very special. What is this? It's your first macrobiotic meal. Steamed cabbage, brown rice, and for a special treat, mung beans. No way, these beans. They never come out of no tin. None of this is out of a tin. It's all unprocessed, whole, and natural. I love natural food, but that's just me. I have to keep away from the additives. They make me go a bit loopy do. There's no worries with that in my food. It's perfectly balanced, yin and yang in perfect harmony. Mmm. You can really taste the yang. Can't you just cook normal food? This is better than normal food. This is what Hollywood stars eat. Yeah, Shrek's donkey. Please don't fight. The tension's really bad for your digestion. So is this food. Well, your brother seems to like it. Don't get excited. Ilya, I know, Chris. I can't eat this. Yeah, sure you can. Just, just use your imagination, OK? Mmm, nice, juicy flies. I'm going to eat toothpaste instead. Good idea. I'm not finished. Now! It's just the first day. I'm sure they'll come round. Won't they, Lil? You are right, Alice? Just look how they're shoving it down my raisin-free oatmeal with soya milk. Oh, you eat anything with starving. It was either this or eating my own hair, and believe me, it was close. Stop! What are you doing? You won't even taste my food! That's the point. Right, that is it. I am buying it all drunk from now on. No sauces, pop, crisps or biscuits. They all make you hyperactive and manic. Those are my best qualities. Oh, and how we'll miss them. What are you doing, bruv? Do you want the kids to hate you or what? It's for their own good, lot. You have to break your addiction to additives. It's got completely out of control. I'll show you out of control. Whoa. Crash, no, we need more love in this room. Yeah, stop the hate, man. What's wrong with you? 
So the food has been bouncered. singing. Shut it, Beaker. You called? Have Day touched my stuff? I only tidied our room. I thought it would be a nice surprise. Well, I hate surprises. Put it back like it was. Of course I will. <laughs> but first I got you a present. It's your favourite top. It will look loads better on you. happen. Okay. And this is just getting creepy. All the tension, all the anger, just breathe it out and push it away. What are you doing? I see it's me and you against the world. Why do we have to be against anything? Because we do, right? Right. House meeting, ship shed, now. Agenda, get rid of Bouncer and his manky mills. Sorry, Tracy, but we like Bouncer's food. You're welcome to join our yoga circle, though. <laughs> Yeah, right. Um, That's the spirit. Let's all follow Tracy's mantra. Um. um. was right. Yeah. I suppose we were eating too much rubbish. Not about that. He said that additives make you hyperactive and out of control. Without them, the dumping ground would never be the same again. We have to get them back. Who's with me? Me. Jackie, what about you? There's no need to take sides. Crash? <sighs> Just chill, Beaker. Justine? Can't. I'm buying Rebecca a present. Don't tell her, though. It's a surprise. You are kidding me. No. It's like I'm finally at peace with myself. Me and Millie say we'll help you, Tracy. Thanks, you too. OK, guys and, uh, Spider, let's get our additives back before we all turn. Nice. So, you wind me up for weeks and weeks about my cooking. And now you want me to take it all over again? Yep. Mm, can't wait for Mike's special fish surprise. But you said it smelled like sewage workers' wellies. In a good way. You said it tasted like bin juice. We like bin juice. See? It's a compliment. You are not going to get around me that easily. Things have been nice and quiet around here since Bouncer took over. And that's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> It's a joke. Oh, come on, lighten up. I am the tree of the universe. The winds of love blow from my every leaf. What are you doing? Isn't it beautiful? Rio's written a poem. We're exploring our emotions through movement. Come on, guys. Join in. Join us. Join us. No! Join Millie! Us. Marco! We have Join to get us. out of here! I can't leave her! Join us! Join us! Join us! Join us! Join us! Join us. Join us. All right, I give up. Where's the taste? Sorry. Taste would destroy the natural balance of Ming and Mank. Ying yeah. and Yang! You guys actually like this? Of course they do. It's about time I had some healthy food in this place. Oh. As opposed to mine, I suppose. Oh, well, no offence, like. Please don't fight. We're mm. not! OK. I don't have 
how to solve this once and for all. How? A cooking contest. The loser never cooks at the dumping ground ever again. Oh, and who judges this contest? Isn't it obvious? Me. <laughs> you? <laughs> no way. I think we should find a neutral judge. Can't we make it the sort of contest where everyone wins? Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Competition really misaligns your chakras. Okay. Those two. You're on. Do you want a bite? No, I don't eat bread anymore, remember? Shame. Dry tofu. Bulgur wheat? Come on, bro, you don't actually like this stuff, do you? Of course I do. It is natural, and it's healthy, and then there's the yin, and the yang, and... Oh, for the love of Billy Piper, give me that cheese sandwich. Bounce. Who are you trying to impress, mate? There's this girl on my course. Women. Your second greatest weakness. <laughs> What's her name? Uh, Forest Rain Mountain Blossom. The real name. Lucy Jones. She's lovely, it's just... She only goes out with macrobiotic vegans, and... I was just trying to prove I was good enough for her. Of course you are. You can just cook healthy, normal food for the kids. You don't have to turn them into robot aliens. Uh, macrobiotic vegans. Exactly. You're right. I should do some real cooking. It's mine. Well, we can't rely on the Hibby twins to pick the right winner, so it's sabotage time. All I need you to do is distract Bouncer while I chuck a load of chilli powder in his grotty food. What's wrong? Well, he seems so mean. Poor Bouncer, he's working so hard. Oh, Roxy, not you too. Sorry, Tracy, I can't fight it anymore. I've got to give Rio a hug. Gentlemen, may I present steamed broccoli, Brussels sprouts, organic couscous, and bancha twig tea. Mmm, delicious. Yes. Okay, well, you've tried the rest, now try the best. Pasta a la bouncer. Chicken in a tomato sauce, and to drink for a special treat only. Busy, pop. I better not. Additives to me. It's not a pretty sight. Well, you were supposed to cook your usual splodge. Yeah, he should be disqualified. Judges, take your forks. <laughs> Water! Ah! Here you go. Valentine's Day, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day, Mike. I can't believe it. 14 Valentine's cards, all for me. Yeah, and in your own handwriting. You're just jealous. But at least I don't go sending myself fake ones, psycho. Justine, it's enough. Today is supposed to be a happy day. Right, everyone, downstairs in the lounge. House meeting. Elaine has something really exciting to tell you. No. Really? She has. A party? In here, tonight. A Valentine's party. Crash, can you make a banner? Sure, no worries. Uh, 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 just um, uh, one more thing. Um, <laughs> I'd like you all to uh, pair up this evening. We have to ask someone. Well, a little courtesy is good practice for later in life. Bouncer, would you do me the honour of... Bro, I'd be delighted. It's <laughs> <laughs> a stupid idea. I'm not pairing up with anyone. Roxy, you're already on gardening duty today for shaving Alice's teddy. <laughs> How about a more positive attitude, huh? I know. How about we go together? It'll be fun. 
Me. Go with you. What colour is the sky in your world? <laughs> Thank you very much, then. You're right. This party does need to push in the right direction. Oh, Justine. You must be so worried. About what? That no-one's going to take you to the party. You know what? You're really starting to get on my nerves. Well, think about it. Even your precious dad prefers your cousin and his mangy dog to you, right? Hey, 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 hey! What's all this about? I just offered her one of my cards because she didn't get any and she went ballistic. Huh? Well, she started Justine! it! Justine! Look, you've been picking on Rebecca all morning. Now, get out in that garden. You're on weeding duty with Roxy. Go! <laughs> Our chat, we can put our plan into action. But how are we going to communicate with each other? Millie, you're a genius. Here, you've been winding Rebecca up again. Oh, she's such an evil witch. Why am I the only one who can see that? Forget about her. I just came to ask. I mean, if Elaine's really making us pair up for this party. What I'm saying is... Will I go with you? As mates, yeah? As mates? I mean, yeah. Of course. All right, then. Was there something else? No, nothing else. See you later, then. Yep. You're who? Cupid, the messenger of love. And my message is, Elaine wants you to collect greenery from the garden to decorate the lounge. And what sort of greenery? Um, the green sort. Anything from the garden. And hurry. Cos Elaine wants it really quick. So, why aren't you out there, then? Um, cos I picked the wrong stuff. Come on, there's no time to lose. Oh. Elaine got you doing this as well. Looks like it. Don't mind, though. Good to be doing something different for a change. Yeah, this party might be a laugh. If it wasn't for the dumb pairing up thing. Tell me about it. Been worrying about asking someone all morning. Then why don't you come with me? At least we'd have fun. Deal? Deal. Choices. I just have to disappoint some of them. Now we can take his name off your list for a start. Why? Because he just asked me to the party, so I guess you have to beg someone else to take you. We'll see about that.
Hey, Leila, are you following hearts too? Wanna watch inside? Open it. The very next person in your sight, that's the one you'll ask tonight. But that's you. I suppose it is. Is that okay? Only if you don't want to. Don't be daft. It will be fun. Brilliant. Clean red rose. Rebecca? What's wrong? I, uh, made you a Valentine's card, but I caught Justine did to it. Justine did this? I just wanted you to feel appreciated for once. But I don't think Justine wanted you to like anyone but her. I don't know what got into her. Look, don't let it get to you. You can help me if you like. Thanks, Crash. You're a real mate. Come in red, tomato. I think we may have a problem. Oh, look. You stick the dump. Have you found a partner yet, or are you going with Rio's pet woodlouse? Even a woodlouse would look better than you. Look at your hair. It's like a witch's broomstick. You know, it's not all about hair and lip gloss and flirting your stupid eyelashes, you pathetic loser. Justine, why are you being so cruel to me? And you can cut the poor little me act. I've had enough of you and your stupid games. Get out of my face before Justine, I... Justine! Stop picking on Rebecca! What? Referee, are you blind as well as stupid? Oh, so now I'm stupid? Then I guess you won't want to go to the party with Mr Stupid now, will you? Fine. I'll go with Rebecca instead. Fine. Fine. It's the wrong track. What's that? <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? We look just like twins. How is that a good thing? Oh, don't be a spoil sport. Come on, let's do the fairy waltz. My life is over. Justine was unprovoked. Yeah, she was giving Rebecca a really hard time. Don't sound right to me. Why are you even bothering to get dressed up anyway, Justine? Your so-called mates won't even notice you're not there. What exactly is your problem? You. I'm fed up with you swanning around thinking you're so special. Well, now it's my turn to be Miss Popular for a change. And your stupid mates haven't got a clue what's going on. Don't underestimate them, Becky. Sooner or later they'll see through you. I doubt it. I'm a bit too smart for that. Mustache, got a party to go to. And don't worry, I'll make sure Crash has a great time without you. Ciao. <gasps> what are you doing in here? Cupid is here to bring love and happiness to all. Marco, you're a genius. 
just doing my job. Justina Rello, you shall go to the ball. Hi, everyone. Isn't this great? What? Is there something wrong with my dress? No. Your dress is fine. We're just, uh, seeing you in a new light. Oh, you're so sweet. Would you like to try some of Bouncer's passion fruit pavlova? Mmm, sounds delicious. Do you want a big slice? Or a small one? How about the whole thing? Oh! Oh, someone help me! Aren't we too stupid to help? Mike! I'm sorry, Rebecca. It's our policy not to get involved. Guess my mates aren't such losers after all. I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I've been an idiot. Forget it. Doesn't matter. For you. I was going to give it to you earlier. Thanks. It's lovely. You know, I'm only giving it to you as a mate. Of course you are. <laughs> Besides, we're still young. We don't want to get tied down with all that romantic slash now, do we? Of course we don't.